Yeah, but when did you realize you weren't going to be in the NBA? I realized I wasn't going to be in the NBA. I was 16 years old. I was at the um, iconic, infamous five-star basketball camp. Rex Chapman was was my camp counselor. And during a, uh, a lecture or a clinic from somebody, I looked over at Sean Kemp, <laughs> NBA, who was, who was 17 or, or 18 at the time with a full goatee, and he was six foot nine. And, and I remember looking over at him, and I was like, um, it's, it's not going to like, happen. I mean, the, the, the size of the guys and this, you know, the gap, I think around 15 changes for, for, for boys in sport. Uh, uh, the size and the speed, it just goes from, I was, I was really good, 13, 14, and then 15, you, you go outside of New York and you see 7-foot, 16-year-old. And Sean Kemp, who I'm looking at, and like Sean Kemp was as good as he was when he played for the Sonics. <laughs> and I was like, this is so not happened. And I started thinking like plan B, plan B. I was thinking about Zion Williamson the other day. You know, we always love to do these comps. And everybody goes, oh, he's like Dominic Wilkins and Charles Barkley. To me, there's a little more Sean Kemp in him. I think he's a little bit more raw than, than people are realizing. And Sean Kemp, to me... Could have been one of the great players in the history of the game. I agree. I, I think basketball came too easy to him because he literally was that good. You know, obviously, I think you know he 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 wasn't he wasn't totally ready for all the the hoopla of being an NBA player. I think there's a little bit of Draymond Green in Zion. I don't think he's LeBron. I think that you know he 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 he's um. I, I don't think he's going to be like this guy who controls the ball. I think he's going to do a lot of things off the ball that are very good. Um, I think that Zion Williamson will, like a lot of these players, uh, they will be, he'll benefit from no hand checking. You can't put your hands on anybody. And I get it's a new era and all that stuff, but I feel like the NBA, because you know, like to do all these throwback uniforms and wear the old jerseys. When they wear the old jerseys, they should use like the old rules. I would just like to see, <laughs> and because they're all great. And I don't like to compare because the eras, they're all great. But I would like to see Trey Young with a little hand checking on him. I would like to see LeBron being able to be hand checked uh, to slow these guys down for a quarter. You're going to wear the throwback uniforms? Let's do some throwback rules. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.